One community are investigating a high school prank that they say went too far. It allegedly involved extensive property damage and a gun. The incident happened in the sanctuary subdivision in Mandeville, and that is where we find North Shore Bureau Chief Ashley Rodriguez live with the details. Ashley. Hi there, Karen. Well, this trick is turning into a real potential for trouble for a lot of people. The homeowner involved is facing potential charges, including aggravated assault and or um, holding some of these uh, kids, I don't want to call it hostage, but false imprisonment, if you will. And the kids are actually facing anything from trespassing all the way up to felony criminal damage. Thursday night, the upscale gated community called the sanctuary turned into a battleground for an annual junior senior high school prank. But this time, the joke turned into a jarring experience that's left a homeowner and numerous students under criminal investigation. So uh, we're looking at everything objectively. We're looking at the big picture, we're interviewing everyone that we can. The students claim they were simply toilet papering one house when the homeowner came out armed and followed them in his car. Cell phone video of the confrontation showing the man holding a gun to his side has made its way across social media. Parents of the involved students are outraged. It's a junior senior war where they go to their friends' houses and they put toilet paper in the bushes and then the next day they come clean it up. And the parents don't understand why their girls were held at gunpoint for something as simple as that. But the homeowner, Craig Scott, says he first came out with his gun in reaction to what sounded like someone trying to break down his door. Surveillance video from his home shows numerous people had been scattered across his property. Scott says while surveying what was left, including broken parts of a toilet, a mattress in his garden, and an unknown chemical on his driveway, the group returned. He says he gave chase to hold them in place for police to arrive. I, my family, even my daughter who attends one of these schools has been bullied and basically vilified as some kind of a crazed lunatic who is out here assaulting sweet children in the middle of the night. Uh, and, and nothing could be further from the truth. Now police are trying to sort out fact from fiction and prank from possible criminal charges on both sides. Now, St. Scholastica Academy, where a majority of the students involved go to school, has taken action following this incident. In a statement, the school said, At St. Scholastica, we strive to provide opportunities for our students to grow into Catholic leaders of tomorrow, and that includes being respectful citizens, understanding that all actions have consequences. Students were warned against rolling houses, yet despite these warnings, some chose to do so anyway. The consequence for the students' poor choices was that Spirit Week activities were canceled. Live in Mandeville, Ashley Rodriguez, Eyewitness News.